Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Amir Khan. Sounds like he's irritated. That's right. Him sitting back on the sidelines, watching everybody make <laughs> all this money over there in Saudi Arabia has irritated Khan. So much so to the point to where uh, Khan is now back in training to return to the sport of boxing. Now, let me tell you something about Amir Khan. Amir Khan fought everybody. As a matter of fact, let me pull something up while we're talking about it, right? Amir Khan fought everybody. Now, we talk about, um, you know, Floyd Mayweather, Oscar De La Hoya, and we talk about their, um, their their records and who they fought, right? You're talking about a who's who of boxing when you talk about those guys. Let me show you something here. But when you talk about this guy right here, yeah, Amir Khan fought everybody as well. He didn't duck anyone. Matter of fact, I think his uh his heart was too big sometimes. But if more boxers today had the heart that Amir Khan had, you know, we we see a lot more of the fights that we want to see. Now Khan ended up, you know, retiring from the sport of boxing. 34 wins, six losses. He had 21 wins by KO, five wins, six losses by KO. One thing about Khan. He had the hand speed. He was all gas, no brakes. Um, and most guys couldn't get out of his um, web of, uh, of, of destruction uh, in the fight. But those who were able to, to, to catch up to Khan or touch him, uh, Khan's chin just would fail him every time. But long story short, 61% KO ratio, which is outstanding. Still almost about 5'9". He had a freakishly long reach at 71 inches. But when you take a look at the who's who, right? Let's just look at the names this guy has fought. Kel Brook, Billy Dib, Terrence Crawford, Samuel Vargas, Lo Greco, Alvarez, Canelo Alvarez, Chris Algieri, Devin Alexander, Luis Galazzo, Julio Diaz, Carlos Molino, Danny Garcia, Lamont Peterson, Paul McCloskey, Marcos Maidana, Pauli Malinaji. So you, you said Barrera, I mean Prescott, so all those names are familiar to us. But for him to return to the sport of boxing, of course, it sounds like he's trying to chase Pacquiao. And he, what Amir Khan is saying is that the only person who can bring him back um, would be Turkey Alashik. Now, Amir Khan's chasing a payday, chasing Pacquiao. Khan chasing Pacquiao, Pacquiao chasing Mayweather. Right? It's ridiculous. But this this thing about if, if no Pacquiao, he wants a big fight. A big fight in the sport of boxing. It has to be a big name. Now, now let me tell you this. Amir Khan, back to the sport of boxing. Right? I'm not sure what weight class Khan is looking to fight at, but this is 154. Amir Khan, who's been out the sport of boxing, his hand speed isn't what it was. His chin, you know, is definitely not there. Um, for it, for just the idea to think that him making 147, I don't think he can make it. But let's just look at 154. You put Amir Khan in with any of these guys, I just don't give Amir Khan a chance. Even if Turkey Alashik, look, the money doesn't matter. It's not going to help our, Amir Khan's chin. It's not going to help his speed. It's not going to help the fact that he's been boxing for so long. And he's been retired for a few years, and he's gained a lot of weight. And I just don't think he can get himself in the kind of shape to where he can handle any of these big names, even if we drop down. And if he can, if he can cut down to 147, look, I just think he struggles against everybody here. Let's just take Cody Crowley. I don't even think Amir Khan can beat him. He, you know, Barrios, I just don't think Amir Khan can do the job. So for, for Amir Khan to be saying he, he wants to, a huge name, a huge fight, and Turkey Alashik is the guy to do it. I, I understand chasing Pacquiao. That's big money. That's huge money. I get it. 
Um, and Alice, she could probably pay both of them. You know, who knows what he'll pay them. But it, it's got to be at least eight figures for him and Pacquiao. That's all Amir Khan is as after the money. But if for some reason Amir Khan bumps his head and takes it to the stupid and is really trying to get in there with, let's see, Earl Spence. Because Earl Spence, you know, made fun of Amir Khan and said Amir Khan just has an amateur style and Spence suggested that he would just get in there and beat the shit out of Earl Spence. I mean, out of uh, uh, Amir Khan. Some people feel, I don't think anybody, I may save this for a video. I'm going to save what I was about to say for a video. I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll just say this I think everybody would, just would, like, to see, would like to see Americon no matter how ameritated he is just sit back and chill out leave these guys alone Americon you were fantastic when you fought you, you, gave a, you gave everything you left it all in the ring I've never seen anybody with hand speed like Americon ever in my life Watching that shit live is freakish to see someone's hands move like that in combinations. It's it, it's just uh, amazing. Like, you know, you can't teach that. Like, you know, you can work on it. You can improve it. But that, he just was just, some people are just fast runners. The legs move super fast. And you can train to build on that. And he just naturally had fast hands. And he trained and built on it. But he naturally had fast hands to throw in combination. But no matter how irritated he is, he probably just needs to sit back and be comfortable and just chill out. Don't come out here messing around. Even with Pacquiao. I think Pacquiao knocks Amir Khan out. I think he viciously knocks him out. So to me, he should leave uh, Pacquiao alone. That being said, shout out to the veterans on seven continents. Amir Khan's irritated, but don't let your irritation get your ass killed. Chill out. Enjoy your family. In the breeze.